the search begins. Master Hilarion is one of the perfected beings called the Masters of the Great White Lodge, who, having won his own freedom from rebirth to this earth, stays close and encourages others to live a life free from earthly sorrows. He is Greek, seen by many in the very youthful appearance, and is of a beautiful countenance. He specifically influences the scientific world and the world of poetic writing, as well as the world of sound and color. He stresses positivity, as do all the masters. The masters can only influence those who express happiness and joy while in the midst of earthly life. The master's criterion for choosing students to initiate and train is to pick those who possess an outward desire to help others in life, as do the masters themselves. Few of them are in a physical form, but they can manifest themselves before the chela or aspirant if it be necessary for the advancement or well-being of the student. Many people of higher consciousness or a sensitive nature go in their astral or dream bodies during sleep and study with these perfected beings. Often they are not aware of this because they are not yet able to remember their dream world. Master Hilarion began to teach me to go out of my body consciously to enable me to remember the nightly teachings. As encouragement, he would say, where you are, we have been, and where we are, you someday will be. Life is continuously evolving from one state of consciousness to a higher one. It is said that in Master Hilarion's last incarnation, he was the ancient Syrian Iamblichus, founder of the school of Neoplatonism, and that he keeps his appearance. The writings of Iamblichus made it clear to me that they were from the same source as Master Hilarion. It is intimated that the main source of inspiration for the great prophet Nostradamus was the book De Mysterious Egyptorum, written by Master Hilarion in his incarnation as Iamblichus. The prophecies of Nostradamus uphold this book, telling of the golden age to come, when the world will go back on its axis. The teachings of Master Hilarion were quietly becoming part of my inner thinking as a result of my nightly travels into places of study while I was out of the physical body in the dream world. Realizations were opening up within, realizations of the unifying virtues by which we were united in ecstasy with the One. That Master Hilarion was drawing me closer was confirmed one day when I had an inner urge to go to the bookcase in our house to look for something to read. I saw a strange looking book which I had never seen before. I did not know how it had gotten into our library. I opened it. It was by Master Hilarion of the Masters of Wisdom. I can never forget Master Hilarion's description of the new world in this book. It enlarged my perspective of life and its true meaning, that we were all wending towards the millennium, towards a whole and complete life. One part that enthralled me was the description of what our world will be like when it goes back on its axis. It would be years and years before this became a popular subject for discussion. Hilarion said the new race that would emerge at that time would not be black, white, yellow, or brown, but a synthesis of all, a golden-skinned people. There would be one religion inspired by the one God of all. The climates would change so that tropical conditions could exist in countries that are now snowy and frigid. He told of the goodness of humankind during this coming period. Love would be the prevailing force upon earth, and humans would at last know freedom from fear, war, and disease. 
I could not put this book down. I took it everywhere, on ferry boats, trains, streetcars, as I traveled back and forth daily from San Francisco to Oakland. It was through this book that I developed the inner closeness to Hilarion, who was to be my guide through the labyrinth of inner experiences, some call the dream world. When the book was well imprinted, not only on my brain but in my heart, it disappeared as mysteriously as it had appeared. My inner door to the mysteries had been opened. I could now listen clearly to Master Hilarion and understand when he was in communication with me. Soon after the discovery of this book, I was sitting in meditation when I felt an invisible presence in my room. A softness filled the air and the room became bright. Master Hilarion, in his etheric spiritual body, appeared. I will now take you before the masters. Go into deep meditation and prepare yourself, he told me. I was taken for an out-of-body experience in my etheric body to a great hall. I seemed to know many of the students who were there waiting for the masters to appear. Thank you.